Oh no, I haven't talked to him yet about the baked beans. But um, I'm just trying, trying to a new diet, trying to eat healthy a little bit. I'm trying to stay away from baked beans for a while. <laughs> yeah, but in all seriousness, how, how has the transition been for you so far? Just like learning some of the techniques and things that Coach Midget and, and those guys are teaching. Oh, um, it, it's been good. I would say um, finally like being being coached by a, a professional coach. Um, just see the experience, how it is, and everything. It's just great. Finally learned from him and just see how his mind works, how the defense is. I just like everything about it. And I, I know, like, in the future, I feel like it's going to be good a little bit. Technique-wise, what, what have you been working on the past couple of days that you've liked the progress that you've made on it? Um, Technique-wise, um, we play, we play, um, we, we don't just play one coverage. We play um, everything. Um, it's just like in, in each coverage, like zone or man, no matter what, it's just techniques. Um, I, I learned from, like, different coaches. So he teach me something new, and I feel like it's, it's a lot. I feel like it was great that he taught me in this new, um, the, the technique and everything. It's not just to start, but what, what are you hoping to show maybe? What do you hope to show maybe from rookie camp and, and – what do you want to show maybe moving forward to new coaches, teammates? Um, as of now, I just want to show them um, what I what I did um, in the past. Just show them I, I'm a competitor. I'm coming I'm coming here to compete and everything. Just trying to get better, going to the next level. I'm just, I'm just trying to get better. I'm not at my top, so I'm just keep working no matter what. what are your impressions of, of Malik after just watching him for a couple of days out there? Um, Malik, um, he he's been good. Um, we all been competing on the offense side. Everybody been good, and just seeing him, he be, he be doing great. Out about him in, in particular? Um, I, I haven't seen much. I'm, I'm trying to focus on me. I'm trying to get better in this count. But I'm just going, going against them. Everything's going good. Have you had the chance to talk to any of your veteran teammates, Christian Fulton, Caleb Farley, any of those guys? And if so, what have kind of those conversations been like and looking forward to working um, with only, them? Oh, only time when I had talked to the vet was they said, um, um, they, they were trying to int introduce me to the team, welcome me to the family and everything. But as of now, we just here with the rookies and everything. Um, and I haven't talked to them yet, like individually, but it's been great. I've seen Elijah, and I spoke to him a little bit, so it's been great. As a high draft pick, do you feel it's important for you to have been one of the better players here the last couple days? And do you feel like you did that? Um, here, and, uh, I got dropped the second round. That don't mean nothing. So coming to like I know that's not gonna mean nothing so I'm not worried about where I got drafted or me expecting to be the best one here it's just me trying to get better I, I don't think I'm the best guy here I'm just trying to compete and get better at my position I think the biggest uh, challenges are, are you know going from college level to, to just what you've seen the last few days like mentally and physically what are the biggest challenges um, I would say it's, it's mentally really it's just all in your head stuff have faster it's different stuff um you go going against bigger and taller guys now more stronger guys and everything so I just say it's just the mental part of like competing and be more physical and everything that's what I would say Thank you working against uh, tra trailing and maybe guys on the other side of the ball can help you in the process kind of get better get ready for the season I don't feel like it's great on um, going against trailer at trailing because he, he he's a good receiver so it's great going against him both are trying to get better at the end of it um I we haven't went against each other that much because we've been doing individual we try working on ourselves so it's kind of great just going against him on the other side of the ball. Is there a comfort level going against him since you played against him in college and covered him some? Is there any comfort level in that for you out there? Um, in college, um, we, we didn't really go against each other that much in college, especially in the past game. But just, just finally going against a guy like that, I feel like it's great for me going against different other receivers too. So I feel like it's great going against that type of person. I apologize if you've been asked this after your draft, but who's the best receiver you've uh, had to cover? It's my, um, my past season? Yeah, just your, your entire career. Uh, I would say, like, the best receiver, I would say it was my first matchup. I would say Jamar Chase, that was the one guy. And that was just because that was my first time ever starting and everything. That's the only reason, only reason why I say that. But um, there's a lot of guys I went against in receivers. So that's not no no number one person, really, I would say, because all of them was great in the SEC. So I, I really don't know. <laughs> first impression of Grable and maybe the coaching staff, just how, how hands-on maybe they are in practices. What you said? Uh, well, first impression of Grable and maybe the coaching staff, just how hands-on maybe they are in practices. Um, it's just like they are like they, they, like they don't care. They, they, they don't sugarcoat nothing. They're going to tell you the truth. They're physical. Um, They're going to they gonna, gonna coach you hard and everything about it. So I, I, I learned that from them how they don't care about your feelings or none of that. This is all business. We're coming here to work and get better. And that's what I love about being coached by him. So I feel like I'm happy I'm getting coached by this stuff. You said you're learning a new nutrition plan. Are you willing to give up the beans before games? Or? Uh, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I'm not giving up. But uh, I'm trying like to get better on my diet and everything. But I'm not giving up beans. I'm not. <laughs> Is it, I mean, is that very much a superstition for you at this point, would you oh, say? Yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Since I was a little kid, always a superstition for me. But I'm going to stay away from it. Just for now, I'm going to stay away from it now.